Sam was interested in looking at a battery storage system that would complement his solar PV. He originally wanted to get the Tesla Powerwall 2. However, partway through designing his system, Tesla released Powerwall 3 in the UK. And after installing the very first Powerwall 3 in the country, we were keen to recommend it to him. Sam was wondering whether he might need two Powerwall 3 units as his annual electricity usage is quite high. The economics of a battery system rely on you using as much of your storage capacity as possible every day. The more of the storage capacity that you're taking advantage of, the better the economic case for the battery system. For a second Powerwall 3 to be justifiable economically, you'd ideally need to be fully utilising the additional 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage every day to offset your daytime electricity, which means you'd need to be regularly using 27 kilowatt hours in the house during the daytime window of your electricity tariff. You can also save money with batteries by using them to export during peak windows, like with Octopus Flux. However, the savings aren't going to be as good as they will be if you use the stored energy to power your house. We have developed our own half hourly battery model that we use to estimate the savings from different battery systems. For Sam, the model showed that one power wall would be fully cycled at least once a day, which means it will pay for itself well within its warranty period. When we ran the model for two power walls, the savings from the additional 13.5 kilowatt hours of the second power wall were not enough to justify the cost. So we suggested that he install one power wall with the solar and then monitor the performance of the system for six months, then maybe look at a Tesla DC expansion pack if the data suggests it's economically sensible. Now, how much battery storage you need does also depend on your use case for the battery. Some of our customers install battery storage so that they can take the house off grid, in which case more battery storage is often better because it'll keep the house running for longer. Part of the reason that Sam is getting solar and battery is to live more independently of the grid, and Powerwall 3 will help him to do this in a few different ways. Firstly, it allows him to store excess solar generation for use in the house. With the battery, 83% of his solar generation is expected to be used in the house. If he didn't have the battery, then only 32% of it would be used in the house. Another way that Powerwall 3 helps with grid independency is its ability to keep the whole house running in a power cut. It can also keep both the DC coupled solar and up to seven kilowatts of AC coupled solar running in a power cut as well. Sam's solar PV system will be shaded by a chimney stack, resulting in an annual yield reduction of 7.6%. As I mentioned earlier on in the series, the Powerwall 3 has three MPPTs, which will also help with mitigating shade from the chimney. On the screen now, you can see the optimal string design for the Powerwall 3 that we worked out using the PV Soul software. We also discussed the best tariff for Sam to move on to following the installation and ultimately settled on Intelligent Octopus Flux as that would optimize his savings the most and integrate with Powerwall 3 via the Octopus API. The best place to put the battery is next to the incoming supply and consume unit especially if the battery is going to provide power cut protection to the house. We've seen some installers recommend putting batteries in the loft. However, we would never do this because of how hot lofts can get in the summer and the increased fire risk that comes along with that. Some battery manufacturers, including Tesla, won't provide a warranty unless the battery is installed on the ground floor. Sam's power wall is going to be installed next to the garage door, which is ideal as it means that the cable runs are very short and it also looks great on the front of his house. If you'd like to find out about the battery installation, watch the Powerwall 3 install video that comes later on in this series.